Boof CV 0.38 has just been released and one of the major new features is scene recognition. What this video is going to go over is the scene recognition demo that's included inside the Boof CV Android application. Uh, this demo lets you experiment with scene recognition and understand its strengths and weaknesses. But before I get into the Android app, let me first go over what scene recognition is. The problem that scene recognition attempts to address is to uh, look up all images that are taken of the same scene from a similar point of view given the query image. This is commonly used inside structure for motion pipelines and is used in loop closure and SLAM. In fact, in um, the current new release of um, Boof CV, it adds loop closure to its uh, scene reconstruction pipeline. This is also known as photogrammetry. Boof CV actually has two different implementations of scene recognition included. The first one is the traditional bag of words implementation, which uses approximate nearest neighbor to uh, identify the relationship between words and image features. And then the second one is based off the paper scalable um, recognition with a vocabulary tree. Uh, this second approach is much faster than the approximate nearest neighbor approach. It gets a speed boost by considering a hierarchy of um, vocabulary. So, each layer in the tree might only have uh, 10 or 20 vocabulary words. And then matching those 10 or 20 words with um, all the images and the features is much faster than trying to match 10,000 words with all the features uh, using approximate nearest neighbor. Um, and then training is much, much faster. In fact, the training is fast enough that for many applications, um, instead of using a pre-built uh, vocabulary tree, I just give it the images and then it'll learn it on the fly. And this actually gives slightly better results. Boof CV's implementation of the um, hierarchical um, vocabulary tree is actually um, designed to be as faithful to original paper as possible as far as accuracy goes, but does attempt to improve upon it in speed. Uh, this is done by sacrificing a little bit of memory, and, uh, but I think it's well worth it as it runs very fast. Now on to the Android application. What I'm showing you right now is the scene recognition demo and on the left is a preview of the camera feed live. And then on the right, which is currently blank, is uh, the best fit image in the data set from the scene recognition algorithm. Let's see if this actually works. What I'm doing now is going back to the previous location where I added photos to the database. And as you can see, it's doing a pretty good job of looking up what I previously added. It'll get confused briefly, but for the most part, it's actually pretty solid even though I'm not in the exact same location. Now, I just added a whole bunch of images as I was walking around the neighborhood to make this more challenging. The test I'm performing at the moment is me walking down the sidewalk, and then as I'm doing so, I'm clicking that Add button and adding images to the um, database. And then once I get to the end, I'm going to turn around and walk down again and see how good the retrieval is. I should also point out what that number on the top right is. That is the error according to the best fit score. Um, the maximum value is two. So I'm now walking back. I've already added these images. And then when I get close, even though I'm not in the exact same location, it actually does a pretty good job of recognizing it. In fact, you can see the error goes down as I get closer to my original position. Uh, you can't totally trust that error number, and you really need to do a geometric check afterwards to make sure this is really the exact same scene. Um, I'll demonstrate in the area where it gets confused later on. But can you imagine if you're a car, this would have worked well. So what I'm showing you now is we're trying to see when this breaks. So I just added a single image to the database of this tree. Now I'm moving away from it, and we'll see at what point it starts to get confused and select random images. So we had to move quite a bit away from the tree for it to get completely confused. And there was very little overlap. Now I'm swinging back and I'm farther away from the tree from where I actually was and still was able to recognize that image. I'm now attempting to get in the exact same position again and see if I can drive that score down. It's actually kind of difficult to like eyeball and get in the same position again. Here's a scenario where it actually gets confused and it thinks it's seeing the same fire hydrant again. Now notice that air value is higher than it typically is and it's not completely stable, but it is picking out the wrong fire hydrant. In fact, sometimes it picks out even another one. 
Now, I had added the fire hydrant to the database earlier, but I'm looking at it from a completely different point of view. You could consider this a false positive, even though I'm looking at it the same fire hydrant because the perspective is so different. Uh, you can see why people attempted to use back a word uh, for image uh, type recognition um, previously, but it doesn't quite work that well. So what I just did is I finished my walk and I'm now back at the start again. So the time has passed, it's been about 40 minutes and the shadows have changed. And you can see it's having trouble. Uh, so this method actually relies on the histogram of all these little local features. So if the shadows have moved, that means um, the shape has changed significantly. So you can see before the bucket on the left was in the sun partially, now it's completely out. Um, so it kind of works, it was able to retrieve the image, but it is a bit unstable. That's all I have to say on Android Demo for right now. It's easy to install and you should just put on your phone and play around with it and learn about scene recognition. But what I'm showing you right now is how easy this is to code up using a high level API. In this few lines of code, I was able to train a new model, add all the images to the database, and then query to find the best fit image. Um, I won't go into all the details for each line of code in this video, but this just give you a sample of what it's like to work with BoofCV and scene recognition. So thanks. Um, that's it for now. Later.